Hey, what's up everybody? This is Visit Joan and welcome to another apartment renovation. And it is really kind of late. It's almost 9 p.m., but I gotta get this done today. And this is the second one of these I'm doing today. So completely start from finish, all done today, everything pretty much except the um thumbnail. But today was just not that great of a day, but well, I'll get into that later. Anyway, right now I am renovating um 1312 21 Sheik Street. So after this is done, 21 Sheik Street will be basically done. And so I have one in the Spice District done, one in the um, Arts Quarter done, one in the fas fa bleh, Fashion District done, and by the time you're seeing this, I will probably have one in Uptown done as well. I was going to do that today, but of course, life and OCD got in the way, and oh my goodness, it's just, it's just, uh, this is not how I wanted today to go. I did get something done, so I can't complain too much. Anyway, yes, this is Penny Pizzazz's apartment. Yes, I did kick her out. No, that is not something I would actually do in reality, but this isn't reality, this is The Sims, and you know, I mean, I, I sound like a hypocrite because I always say, you know, I don't. When I hear people say, oh yeah, I'm going to get rid of all the townies, it, it just almost like, oh, no, don't you dare! But really that's, no, don't you dare delete Bella Goth. But um, I'm going to admit to that right now. But since I have my own Bella, TFM Bella, I, it really doesn't matter. So, you know what? It's just like, I just want to create my own Sims and have a world with all of my own Sims. And you know what? It's not like Penny Pizzazz is gone. She's I don't know if I don't remember. She she's probably just not in world. But anyway, I am creating this apartment for a single dad and his two daughters. And there were a couple of oh my goodness, this was a fun apartment. Well, not not fun, but like first of all, space was cramped. I'm like I look at this apartment. Uh, bleh, I look at this apartment. I'm like, well, it looks pretty big. I could fit two bedrooms in here only to find out that it's a really tight squeeze. The kitchen was really small, and I was just kind of debating whether or not I actually wanted to put a stove hood in here. And I'm like, wait, what? what's a stove hood? What the heck does that actually do? So I looked it up, and the funny thing is, is that this thing was rendering, and and I would just scroll the um playhead across the screen, and it wouldn't move. And I'm like, quit rendering. I did not tell you to do that. You know, for computers, are supposed to do everything exactly how you tell them to. Mine sure love doing the exact opposite of that. But anyway, I wait till it's done rendering, and then I try it again, and you know, it's still not doing anything. And then I realized, oh, wait a minute, this was when I was trying to look up the freaking stove hood. Then there was another part where, you know, I created this family beforehand, and I knew one of the girls was a toddler. However, for some reason, I completely spaced on putting a toddler potty in the bathroom or leaving room for that or something. I don't know. So I went back into the bathroom to see if I could place it somewhere, and for some reason, the sink was gone. I have absolutely no idea how that happened. It's, I don't know, it's a glitch. It's been happening to me with other builds lately. I, I really don't know, but... I'm just, I was just trying to figure out which furniture should go in there because I don't want everything to be matchy matchy exactly, but I don't want it to like look completely like, like I want it to stand out, but I don't want it to like look like it just doesn't belong there. And that was really kind of what I was going for. But anyway, this, this desk, I just cluttered it up to the max. I wasn't even thinking. I was kind of half-heartedly doing it, and I figured it was okay, because with two small girls, you know, I figured it it wouldn't be neat at all. It would just be clutter everywhere, and since this is such a tiny apartment, really, for the family, it's just, it's just really kind of hard to do, and I made it work. Don't worry. I even got the family photos in for the screenshots, so thank goodness for that, but, um, yeah, this, this apartment, I was actually furnishing part of it while watching somebody else do their Penny Pizzazz apartment. I just looked it up. It is M-I-S underscore Simsy. So if you want to go check her out, she has even less subscribers than I do. And you know what? There was a time when I didn't even imagine myself saying that. But okay, anyway, moving on. The dad's room was just really small. And I figured I would give him, you know, the smaller of the two rooms. 
because, you know, he would, the two girls share a room and he would, you know, want his girls to have all the space. And so I figured maybe he wouldn't have much in his room because, you know, he's dedicated his life to his daughters or, you know, stuff like that. Like all of his time is being taken care of his children. But then I just randomly decided, I had the idea, that maybe before he had his girls, he was like a professional bowler. So I decided, you know, I'm going to go that route and put like a bunch of bowling stuff all over the place. And well, you saw what I did. I don't need to completely explain everything to you. But this room, oh my goodness, this room, it was just really kind of hard to fit everything I wanted to fit in there. Because I know I wanted, like, a desk, but then I had to fit a dresser in there as well. And then it was just like, oh, wait, I wanted a bulbous or whatever those things are. I don't know. I decided to use one of those things. I don't know what they are. Like I just said, I'm repeating myself, but it's late. I really need to go to bed. But um, I decided, you know what? I haven't done one of those before. I'll just do it. It, it looks weird, but I've never put a small pet in an apartment before. So I decided to go with that, and so I had to find a way to squeeze that in, but eventually I did make everything work out, and I cut a lot of that out, and I'm probably forgetting something I really wanted to say at this point when I was editing this, but I, I don't know. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm just going to export it. I'm not even going to look it over because, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm just done with today, but, um, you know, so if I've made a mistake at some point, I'm sorry. I just didn't look it over like I usually do. But anyway, you guys, I pretty, I think this girl's room turned out pretty well, despite all the circumstances, and that I was squished on space. And, you know, anyway, this build is coming to an end. So I'm going to let you guys go right here. If you enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, I would really appreciate it if you left a like and a comment down below. And if you like this stuff and you want to see more of it, I would really consider... No. Oh my goodness, no. I would really appreciate it if you considered subscribing or just go ahead and click that subscribe button. Whatever works for you, go ahead and do it. And if you want to follow me on social media, you want to see behind the scenes, fun facts, just life in general, follow me on Instagram at Visit Joan. You want to see my thoughts about anything Sims related or any just random stuff like that. You can follow me on Twitter at Visit Joan Videos, but I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to go to bed and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Anyway, you guys, see ya.